I have to say, you go everywhere for research. Um, a lot of research we do through art and museums. Obviously the internet's helped a huge amount, but actually to see art of the period, to see art of the conceptual art of the period, probably done later, is always very inspirational. In fact, around me there's a lot of pre-Raphaelite art for our females. And um, we took a lot of inspiration from Bruegel because the Bruegel landscapes and the colors and the color palette was what Ridley and I thought would be great for the English countryside of that time. Corro, he always paints beautiful peasants, a huge amount of peasantry in this film. And then for the nobles, we had Georges Latour, who paints beautiful, rich fabrics with small amounts of gilded detail. The color palette we were working with was quite linear. Um, if you look at any Bruegel, the peasants in it are just literally black silhouettes. And even in close-up, they're very monochrome. So that's what we've been trying to get throughout the entire landscape, which means we had a little bit of freedom to go a little richer with the, with the nobles and the courtiers and the court. The royals were able to afford the latest dyes from Rome or the latest fabrics, the latest silks and the latest embroidery. They were able to afford nuns going blind throughout France, embroidering their clothing, you know, or their bolts of cloth before they were made up. So yes, we did use stronger colors, keeping it in beautiful jeweled colors um, that would work with Ridley's vision of the old master. Um, and also more advanced styling. <laughs>